If you've created a Power BI report, but you're not sure the best way to share it with someone else, in this video, I'm gonna show you five free ways you can share your Power BI report with others, including one that many people don't know about. Coming up. Hey, it's Brandon Michaels, and in this channel, I help you build your skills to grow your business. How to share a Power BI report with someone else is one of the most frequently asked questions about Power BI. Also one of the first questions my clients ask when they're starting out. So today, I'm gonna to show you how. If you want to share your Power BI report with someone else, the easiest way is just to send them your Power BI file. Sharing your report this way allows the person you're sharing it with to interact fully with your report. A few things to keep in mind. If your report file is large, you might not be able to send it by email. Also, there's a security concern if your report contains sensitive data. Sending my email is not the most secure way to send your report to the other person. It would be better to upload your file to the cloud and enable access only for the person you want to share your report with. Finally, the other person must have Power BI installed too. And if you're going to share your report this way, make sure that you and the other person installed Power BI through the Microsoft Store. If not, and if you use the link on the Microsoft site to download the executable file and install Power BI that way, since Power BI gets updated so frequently, you could run into compatibility issues if you and the person you're sharing your report with are not in the same version of Power BI. Another way to share your report is by exporting it to PDF. This is also easy. It's just one additional step. From your report, go to File, and then choose Export, Export to PDF. Everyone has some kind of PDF viewer, so you can be sure the person you're sharing your report with will be able to open it. However, this is just a static version and the person won't be able to interact at all with your report. Another way to share your report is just to take a screenshot. And you can do that by holding down Windows, Shift, and S. That's gonna bring up the Snip and Sketch tool. And from there, all you need to do is click and drag over the report. That will bring up the Snip and Sketch window here. You can click on that if you wanna mark up your report or Windows also automatically copies the screenshot to your clipboard which you can easily paste into an email or even into a Word document like this. And like the PDF export, this too is a static version and the person won't be able to interact at all with your report. Also with this option, if you have a report that has multiple pages, you'll need to take a separate screenshot for each page. Another way you can share your report is by exporting it as a PowerPoint file. To do this, we'll need to use the Power BI service, which is the online version of Power BI, also referred to as powerbi.com. The first thing we need to do is click Publish. In order to share your report this way, you'll need a business or education email. That means you can't use a personal account like a Gmail account or a Hotmail account. So as long as you're using a business or education email, enter your email address, click Continue. Here, Power BI is just telling us that we don't have an account yet and we need to create one. This is a free account, so you won't need to enter any payment information. In the yellow box, click the Here link. And now we just need to walk through the signup process. Click I got it from my organization and then click the next button. And here Microsoft is just prompting for a two-factor authentication. So go ahead and enter your phone number and then click the send verification code button. Enter the code that you received and click verify. This next screen is where you're gonna set up your Power BI account. So fill out the information and then Power BI is gonna send you another verification code, this time to your email address. After you enter that code, click the next button. This screen shows that our account setup is complete. So click the get started button. And the first thing you'll see here is the main powerbi.com screen. This means you've successfully created a Power BI account. Now let's go back to Power BI desktop. And now we can click on the continue button. Enter the password you set when you created your account. Then click sign in. Next, Power BI will ask you where you want to publish your report. By default, you have a workspace called My Workspace Setup. We can use that for today. So since it's already selected, just click on the select button. And now our report is being published. Once you see that it was successfully published, click on the open link. Here we have a report in powerbi.com. This is a fully functional version. For example, we can use slicers to filter the data. Now that our report is published, all we need to do is go to export, then click PowerPoint. And in this window, we have the choice of exporting with current values or default values. Current values will show exactly what's on the screen and default values will show your report as you originally published it. And at the bottom, we can choose whether or not we wanna export just the current page if our report has multiple pages. Then just click export. 
and it may take a few seconds to generate the PowerPoint file. Once the file finishes exporting, click to open the file. Here we see that PowerPoint has added a title slide, so then the second slide will be the first page of your report. Like the first three options for sharing, this too is a static file, so the person you're sharing with won't be able to interact with your report. I think the best way to share your Power BI report is by publishing it to the web, because doing it this way allows you to share an interactive version of your report, and you can share it with anyone, even if they don't have Power BI, and even if they don't use Windows. This means you can share an interactive version with Mac and iOS users, Android users, and pretty much anyone who has some kind of device with a web browser. There are just a couple things we need to do before we can share a report this way. I'll walk you through each one step by step. First, if we go to the upper right and click our avatar, we can see that we have a Power BI free account. Many people think you can only share a Power BI report on the web with a paid account, but I'm going to show you how you can do it with the free account we just created a few minutes ago. The first thing we need to do is go to the upper left and click on the waffle icon, then click admin. In here we're being asked to set up admin for our account. This is referring to the admin for our Microsoft 365 account, which was created when we signed up for our Power BI free license. Admin is what allows us to control the different settings for our account. Before setting up admin, Microsoft needs to verify that we own our domain. So click next. And this page tells us that for Microsoft to verify our domain, we need to add a DNS record to our domain. In this case, Microsoft is asking us to add a special record called a TXT record with a unique code. They can then look up our domain and search for that code to verify we own the domain. To add the record, we'll need to log into our hosting company. So I'm going to log in here. And now we need to look for the DNS manager. And this is where we're going to add the record. I'm going to choose TXT for the record type. I'm going to go back and copy this code. We need to add the at symbol for the name and then paste the code into the value box. I'm going to choose the shortest time period in the dropdown. Then add the record. So now we can see the DNS record was successfully added. Let's go back to our admin setup. And now we just need to click on confirm record at the bottom. Sometimes it can take a while for Microsoft to pick up the new DNS record. So if that happens, you may need to wait a few minutes before you can confirm. In this case, Microsoft found the record and has verified we're the owner of the domain. Before we move on, let's check to make sure our user account is set up. We can see that it is here. So go to the upper left, click the waffle icon, then click Power BI. Now that we're back on PowerBI.com, we'll click on a report to open. To share a report, we'll click on File, Embed Report, and choose Publish to the Web. Here we see that Power BI is telling us that before we can publish to the web, we need to enable something called embed codes. Microsoft has these turned off by default, and we need to turn them on. So click OK, and now go to the upper right and click on the gear icon, and then choose Admin Portal. This is different than the admin we were in earlier. The settings in this admin are specific to Power BI. Here, we want to scroll down until we get to Export and Sharing Settings. And under this category, we want to look for Publish to Web. Make sure that that's enabled. And the setting that we need to change is choose how embed codes work. So by default, it's set to only allow existing codes. What we want to do is change it to allow existing and new codes, and then click Apply. Now we can see that our changes were applied. To go back to Power BI, go back to the waffle icon in the upper left, and then choose Power BI. Click on a report to open. And now we'll go back to File, choose Embed Report, and then click Publish to the Web. Now we see that Power BI gives us an option to create the embed code. So click Create Embed Code. And here Power BI is warning us that once we publish this to the web, anyone can view it. So we just want to make sure before we do that, that there's nothing in our report that we wouldn't want to put out to the public. To publish the report, click the Publish button. And here we see that Power BI has prepared our report to publish to the web. At the top, Power BI gives us a link that we can copy and paste into an email to share. We could also publish our report to a website. For example, if we have a blog, we can use this code here and simply paste it into our HTML. We also have a few different options for how large our report will appear once it's embedded. So choose whatever size works best. And at the bottom, if our report had multiple pages, we can choose which one the viewer will see first. And once we're done with this screen, we can just click the X to close out. Let me know in the comments below if you're currently using Power BI. If you like this video, hit the like button. 
And to see more videos like this, click subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.